Last time on the Wandering Naps, we finally bought a boat, fixed it all up, and put it back in the water, making our way from Key Largo to Isla Morada. And then we shared our thoughts about living on a boat. We have currently been exploring the middle to the upper keys. Marathon is considered halfway between Key Largo and Key West and is most famous for the seven mile bridge. At mile marker 92, we took a tour of the Laura Quinn Bird Sanctuary. Here birds are rescued who have been injured from boaters here in the keys. These birds have been rescued but they still have injuries that prevent them from being returned to the wild. Meanwhile, the Laura Quinn Sanctuary has a hospital down the road that heals and releases birds that were brought in by boaters who found injured birds. These birds are fed every day at one o'clock, which we were excited to watch. They know their schedule and they wait Hi. patiently. Hello. Hello. Skipping down to Marathon. We visited a bunch of new beaches and park areas Maybe. that were built after Hurricane Irma destroyed much of Florida. These are efforts to restore the Keys and they were gifted by many local families and organizations. The number one question we get asked is are the cats transitioning to boat life well? What do you think? So we're in the front V berth, um, Mrs. Carter's room. He has his own air conditioning unit underneath here and it drains. Um, so air conditioners will pull gallons of water per day out of the atmosphere and it condenses into a pan underneath the AC unit. And that needs to have a way to drain either into your sump or into your bilge. This particular one drains into the bilge I'm gonna, we walked in and we found there was moisture down here. If you can see the water squishing out there. Water squishing. So I thought it immediately it was coming from the air conditioner, so I looked. Let me go ahead and show you what we found. So there's the air conditioner unit. The pan is right over. Where it says drain you can see the pan and that hose goes around and it kind of goes uphill and it comes back through here underneath and it drains down into this bilge like right here so our boat leans to the starboard which would be to the right so our boat kind of leans like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that drain hose I cut a hole right there and I'm going to take that hose and stick it down right there so that way it should be downhill and just drip straight into our bilge. And there's our so our bilge is down there so that hose will come through up there at the very point up there. So right up there is the hose that I just stuck through. Let me get you to focus better on it. There you go. So now it's draining down into the bilge. So there we go. Got cut in the hole. Hopefully that'll fill this up to start draining. We have an air conditioning unit in the front room there that we just fixed. It was overflowing from the condensation pan. This one, uh, which services the galley area, was doing the same thing about a week ago, and I just turned it off, and it was such a tough spot to get to, I just, I'll deal with it later. 
So I'm dealing with it now. And this one is a very similar situation. You can see your drain down there and that hose should be all the way on that fitting and it's not. Also it runs across over here to this side right there going through that hole down there and it kind of goes uphill to get there. So I'm going to pull the hose out we're going to um, see if it's clogged and if there's a better way to reroute it. Also while I was in here I found these two more abandoned wires. So while I'm at this I'm going to go in the engine room and pull those out and see where they go. Tracing the wires? Uh, not wires, the uh, drain pipe. Trying to see where it goes. So the problem with this one is the balance of our boat. Our drain's on this side, and our boat leans this way. So until we get the balance figured out, that's never going to drain out of that pan correctly. We are on, boom, seven mile bridge now. The Seven Mile Bridge connects Knights Key and South Marathon to the Lower Duck Key. There are two bridges in this location. The modern bridge is open to vehicle traffic, while the older one you see here on the right or north side is for pedestrians and cyclists. The older bridge was constructed in 1909 as part of the Overseas Railroad, while the current bridge was constructed in 1978. Fred is a tree that you see growing in the middle of the Seven Mile Bridge. Each December, he is decorated by the locals. The trees on Google Maps. <laughs> There's like a big... The original bridge was seven miles, while the newer constructed bridge is actually shorter. It's only 6.79 miles. This, this is side is the state park. park. All those people are in the state park. Wow. This is pronounced Baha'i Honda State Park. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Carter. Good to know. What does double red mean? No swimming. Oh, so we cannot even go out there. Oh. Man. Yeah. None of us are wearing our Oh, and it's just now starting to rain, too. <laughs> you did. Got to leave everything here. Okay. Ocean looks angry today. The state park makes up most of the entire island. You'll find many blogs and trip sites that it rates this state park as one of the most beautiful parks in the entire country. We have to agree 100%. Driving home on the seven mile bridge in the rain, that was something. Your club? Yeah. Hey, Chatter. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. Yeah. What's life like on a boat? It's rough, man. Yes, yeah, very Life is rough on a boat. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Of course, our most favorite places to explore are over the water. We hopped on Blue, a 65-foot catamaran found at Robbie's Marina, and we headed out to Alligator Reef. The reef was actually named after the USS Alligator, the last ship to wreck on the reef, not because there's alligators out there. At the time it was built, the lighthouse was the tallest steel structure in the world. Fun fact, it is currently for sale. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. While snorkeling out here, you'll see nurse sharks, sea turtles, stingrays, moray eels, grouper, and barracuda. 
And of course, we just have so much fun with all these fish.